Hello, um, I'd like to talk to you about um, uh, Quartrif technology uh, platform. Um, uh, so it's a it's a, um, a badge on the cloud, um, which is essentially allows us to think of a, some kind of platform, and um, it. Um, yeah, I could talk to groups analogists about QR codes and things. So um, I need to talk about um, uh, a cooperative of people um, who who operate day on day, uh, um, create a platform with their activity. So um, let's say you get get a group of people, um, and every day they they have their normal food and housing uh, costs and quality. Um, now, if you take a normal group of people, um, um, we have consumers and producers, um, and, and that activity, um, if you group those people, you can plan them. Um, you can give them a, a, a platform where they create um, a tick with their phone just to buy something or, or say I've received something. Um, just based on, yes, I have received something. It's what I pre-ordered or whatever. Um, we can create um, a cooperative platform, um, and it's a, uh, w which is a ticketing system. So um, um, the the platform allows us to keep half a ticket, which is our pin, and the platform itself is the other half of, t of the ticket. So the producer will have the other half of the ticket. And because we've organised a small group um, initially um, to record that they receive these things, a producer or consumer. Um, Along with our other website uh, uh, and postal confirmations and things, we can uh, create the map. Now, what I want to say is that any group in, we've talked about money, so it's economics, what it, um, any group uh, reasonably and does and, and, and has to compete every day to go from good to better. So, um, and then you have quality and price within that. Um, so, so what I'm going to talk about is, is profitable for um, people who are employed because that's their natural course of the day, to be productive. Um, uh, and so um, we take a group of people um, employed in food and housing and we create this map. And because um, um, I want to create the example, so we're creating the, the platform which is a, a badge and therefore it creates an example, the badge that people can uh, adopt. Okay, and then from which, so that's a very simple ticketing system, uh, which is just uh, a few yeses or ones in the cloud, um, according to each group and category. Um, uh, um, we, we, we can build up that network so, so that um, we can confirm that we, yes, this food and housing that we do every day. Once you do that, that badge can then be... Um, uh, a very small system can then be adopted and built onto. So as your produ as a producer uses this confirmation, they can grow their QR code uh, per se. Um, their half of the ticket um, into a shop front and use a consumer to grow yours into the things you consume. And then there's the things that you don't consume that are produced or new things. So um, so what we can do is we can build this pattern within the group. And because we want to qualify quantifiably and qualifiably say that yes, we are profitable and we get better we, um, from day to day, it's profitable. Um, we want to. Um, what I'm suggesting is that um, I want to put homeless people in there. Um, the reason is that I want the chair to be empty. So it's a function. It's a reason to create a function. Everybody can say yes to. Um, to you know, in terms of say, yeah, I can trade with other people in exactly the same way. Um, but somehow this way of trading an app, this co cooperative, um, collects homeless people and, and puts them in better conditions. So we can use the example of a homeless person for everybody, rather than just saying everybody goes from A to B in, in life, uh, trying to attain happier and better conditions. And that way we can say part of this structure involves, um, um, well it always involves legislation, uh, and accounting, but it involves carers and counsel and benefits and so on. So then we can just put a ring fence in our system to say this is actually the, the breadbasket and, and cash equivalent of food and housing. 
if everything goes wrong, this is the thing, you, you know, that kind of thing. So we're looking at uh, economics and, uh, and society in general. So, so that means that when, I'm, when we are building this net of, of things that have been predefined, and we, we can predefine this now in paperwork forms. So, uh, we just, so that's what I'm suggesting. So you're homeless now is your example. So in life you, you have forms so, so, um, to, to deal with your tax or, or, or your accountant or, or your receipts or forms. So people's websites then become a form. We build um, the initial badge, which is a combination of food and housing. Um, with the uh, categorizations including the homeless so so that kind of like you know homeless and housing um, and then in the real world um, um, well say, say, say this uh, example group of a thousand people um, six percent you know uh, unemployed the rest employed in terms of the employed group and a few homeless um, it can support itself and, and have these trades uh, going around. And I to talk to you about finance and such, but the the, um, the the people already involved. We're not creating anything new, but we're collecting people already involved in the council, um, and producer and consumer um, banking and finance and credit and, and the actual producing of food and housing and goods and, and such. <clears throat> so so. In essence, we're linking things up because of our structure. We have very, very definite routes that we've done successfully already. Um, so, so today we can send, uh, we can record all the um, the uh, yes, I receive these goods, and we can say yeah, the the homeless person has taken the correct path. Uh, we've seen it on the paperwork in, in these in our companies. Uh, the employed is taking the correct path, and the, the um, you know unemployed. So everything has been ticked, <clears throat> um, and therefore that's a map of our trading day on day, um, week on week, year on year about food and housing. Um, um, so we can cooperatively agree. In fact, there's no agreement within the cooperative apart from uh, the fact it's a free market. You see. Now I want to just. Uh, Answer. So we've got a group, a set group, and what we want to do is uh, create, create a platform badge and allow people to integrate and put their own forms on, um, and then it becomes a very um, saleable mass thing. Uh, uh, strangely, because you're you're um, uh, you have a chair that you put homeless people in, uh, so essentially you can pick up homeless people and provide them better better conditions, and, and uh, also uh, have beneficiaries in your group, and as you add groups together, any groups that are uh, weighed by number, uh, proportions of employed or beneficiary, um, these groups will sort of coagulate and, and trend on, on pricing and quality, such that, you, such that your free economics will create better. And the reason they can do that is they can compete with, with the four companies, or, uh, so you've got food and housing and you've got finance, and you've got homeless uh, council sort of integrations that are all set anyway to deal personally with the actual people who are homeless and then the platform allows us to um, know when our trade is within the, the range of legal or illegal in terms of fraud and such like that. So therefore we, we, we build the um, uh, companies that we want around the law so that, the, so that people can integrate very easily and know that um, they're abiding with the law and um, employ people with um, credentials and such. Uh, and I want to talk to you about the, the, the financing and things like that because um, we're talking about a group, a set group, and then a, a, you know, a group at large who produce. Uh, this is a very strange graph. It looks like a normal curve, which it is in some respect. But we have a take up and a production. We want to make sure that food and housing is produced to you know, maximum production. Whereas other things, on their own, when you look at them on their own, they seem to go to maximum production and relating to profit. So a bottle, a champagne producer who has no information about the rest of the world, um, will see his price per bottle decline because he has a, a, a fixed production um, um, compared to all other things, and all other things is grown. So you can have, you know, we've got refrigerators and microwaves and, and things, toasters and all sorts over the past 
century and such. But um, so the free market will, will, will tend to suggest that, that these are the food and housing goods that everybody can get involved in, homeless and a category, and unemployed as a category, um, and people who are employed, and then you are the, the goods that aren't really on the breast basket, but you can from time to time afford. You will you will be seen such that um, um, everybody can afford this, but it's your your uh, purchases are still recorded. So um, what that means is that. Um, um, when I explain it fully in terms of finance and, and the future markets of uh, uh, technologists providing integrations of forms, what that means is that the larger the group, what we can do is we can have foresight because what we're doing is collecting the actual customer's receipts. And the customer's receipts say so many tins of beans, so many burgers and loaves of bread, uh, regardless of what shop they're from. Uh, so this ticketing system and the, the uh, the way it's produced on the net, or rather it is the net, and the way it would need something to attach to it as, a, as a, a badge for people to grab hold of, in such a way that it can grow freely as well, then I feel the, the way that the free market can help homeless people, and the way that homeless people can quickly get onto the beneficiary ladder, um, or beneficiary state, um, uh, uh, which is a set year-on-year -year fund, uh, I believe that uh, this platform can allow in, or employ people and tech, uh, tech people to um, create forms profitably. So future business can have the foresight from that collection of receipts. So down to the sort of collection of postcodes, towns, how many, you know, what's the demographics and, and who are the people and uh, is my business efficient and, and such like that. By releasing that um, and that anonymous data, um, we can um, create that efficiency in one place if we first of all start creating a badge with the home, homeless companies and the council and that way we can integrate so everything that the law can provide in terms of success or not uh, and the council um, we can code that with our local trade and start to finance our house high streets uh, so I need to talk to you about finance at some point but um, to begin with, that initial platform of uh, it can start with a few hundred people, and a uh, um, hundred thousand pounds, for example, will pay for food for um, just fingering the ass, It's like sixty people for a year, so a couple of homeless shelters or something like that. Um, um, and that money can be supported legally to um, help the local community have a. Um, place where people can go and, and eat and, and affordably eat um, out and things like that <clears throat> because we have a future market uh, in the UK and the world which is going to change um, and pricing is going to change so we can get on top of um, freedom to finance and uh, secure food um, within the country and housing for, for, for everybody and that is actually going to seem here with this um, uh, with these diagrams and, and the network as the most profitable option when you consider um, 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 any decision regarding finance and, and um, competition so um, so it's really liberating um, finance for the local community so um, essentially, uh, my request is that I need an application built, which is more uh, much like a snapshot of uh, transactions as a tennis ball in space, which is a, a um, overlaying of uh, tickets. So this is based on now um, um, paper accounting for some simple transactions in the local community, a few comp a few businesses, and a, a homeless shelter or two that say yes, we're going to do this every year, every every day, week, or whatever. That builds the um, um, badged platform um, that we can build over the year or over that time such that it becomes live, such that any new customers can be balanced positively and negatively either side and actually um, matched. Um, you know, so, so we can create something when that farmer has sold up his produce to businesses that are. You know, 100% cooperatively integrated. You know that can provide um, 
and, and knowledge and foresight for people who want to have a chippy in a place that doesn't, you know, doesn't have a chippy. Um, but but that's, that's a technical issue because you know, things have to be on the shelves to be measured, which is, um, um, which is why we need a shelf for the homeless people and so we measure people in case they go missing and don't eat. Um, so um, uh, yeah, that's my request. Uh, and from that, really, the large amounts of money are, are in the future uh, where technical people build uh, integrations and forms and persecute the economic graphs and the uh, techniques of production so, so that people who uh, uh, can find out whether their business is productive um, and then technology can have um, uh, a way of finding out what is financeable in the future as well. Um, okay, so, so thank you very much. Um, um, my name is Jerry Shrian and um, I want to build a cooperative um, trading, you know, a ticketing platform and financing in the future. Uh, thank you very much.